click and decide how to build an ad hoc query in SAP. In this presentation, we will see how we use Builder to create ad hoc queries on SAP. After opening Builder, we create a new project that will hold our work, and we position this project in a shared folder directory of our web portal. We name this project SAP Demo, and we select BI Project as project type. The empty project opens and we create a new query. The screen shows all our database access configured in this environment, and we select SAP Source. We see that we can have access to multiple SAP Source. The SAP Cubes and Queries backs from BW. The SAP Queries SQ01. The RFC and BOPI Direct Access. In the Cube branch, we get directly all available cubes. If the cube does not have BEX queries, it will be directly available. In this ZFlight cube, we can see all BEX queries. For the demonstration, we select the query BEX criteria. We get the structure with the measure and the dimensions. And the list of parameters, here carrier ID and plane type. If we want to create a filter, we just need to select the first checkbox of the parameter and we ask the system to present to the user the list of values available in the SAP system. We did the same for the plain type parameters. When we run the query, the questions are shown to the user who can see the values in the Dropbox list. Complete, partial or separate selection can be made. The result is visible immediately after. Has shown we have here, in the selection, 45 records. If we decide to remove some cube dimensions, like flight date and connection ID, with no parameter filter, we get 22 records. If we remove the plain type dimension, we get only 8 records with one dimension, the carrier ID. The flight price value is now accumulated by carrier ID, like in a fold-unfold action. We now add again plain type and date. As you can see, the date arrive in the SAP text format as dd.mm.yyyy. To manipulate the date, we will create a virtual formula field, name date, in timestamps format, using the right formula, from the SAP source field date. When we run the query, we have now directly a date field available in timestamp format that we can use in reports, cubes or other output and ETL transmission. We do not need to use and show the previous date in SAP format. We may reorganize our fields, date in first, then carrier, then plain type. You may also format the result, price and currency, in this case, dollar. Format the date in short date format, as wished. You save your query under a comprehensive name. The query is now available for report creation, cube creation, Excel or Power Pivot access from the web portal. Thanks for watching our presentation. For more information, visit our website www.clickanddecide.com.